How's it going, YouTube? This is Trainer J.I., and today is the Monday Weekend Sales Recap. I believe this is number 18. I um, had a pretty good weekend here, 4,800 in sales, so we jumped up just a little bit again from last week. We're on the climb. Um, 10K was the goal set for next week on the weekend. Uh, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. Um, we'll see. Uh, I can't be pessimistic about it, but we'll see. I got a lot of cards to get listed here. Um, we'll kind of see. We'll see what happens. It was a good week overall, though. Not that just the weekend, but the week was good overall. But um, to do 10K on a weekend next weekend, we're going to be pushing it. But we'll see what happens. We're on a sale, and we'll see if we can if we can meet the goal. If not, it is what it is. As far as the listings go, the goal that I set like three, four weeks ago or whatever it was, uh, yeah, that just didn't happen because they they did that whole change all of a sudden with condition. And um, I do have a plan now what I want to do, but... Um, I, I just didn't want to make a move until I figured out exactly what eBay was going to do with the, you know, the variation listing. So I have a plan now. It's going to be a lot of backtracking, but in the end, it's, it, it is what it is. It's just part of business. Um, but yeah, this week, 4,800 again, as always does not deduct sales tax, um, eBay fees, shipping, et cetera, et cetera, and so forth. Um, so yeah, 4,800 can't complain. It was a good weekend overall, and um, yeah, didn't sell any CGC stuff, which again isn't much of a surprise. I'm getting a dwindling inventory. I'm not messing with prices on that stuff. I just usually put it on sale and hope something sells. But yeah, let's jump into this, and um, it shouldn't take too long. We had one big card sell, which was pretty much the the kind of like the the catalyst for this weekend. But at the same time, like I. I, there's a couple of cards that did sell this weekend that somebody that I deal with privately um, purchased that didn't pay for everything yet, which they will. I just they didn't pay for it yet this weekend. So that actually would have racked the tab up to about uh, probably like I want to say like 6,800 or something like that. So, yeah, but we obviously didn't count that. So I just put one the one card they did pay for in there and then, um, yeah, that would have jumped everything up. But yeah, singles we have for Alligator Neo One Genesis. Got Nanawake Mankey, um, Snap Pika, the Coro Coro promo. Wish it was the real Snap. <laughs> Probably in my collection then. Cool Porygon. We have Bilingual Executor. This is the glossy one from the Trainers Magazine. Uh, Bag on BWP uh, V Jump promo. We have CP4 Pikachu Reverse. Poke Park Mudkip. We have. Is this Bianca? I think this is Bianca, right? Yeah, it's Bianca. BWP um, Gym Challenge promo. Ludicolo, Miracle Crystal. We have Dust Noir, DPP, Manaphy. I think it's like C's Manaphy though, or something like that. Um, PCGP promo. Turtwig, DPP. Um, Wismer, 7-Eleven. This is the hollow version. And then you'll see the non hollow here in a, a couple cards. We got the De Deoxys McDonald's promo from PZGP. Togepi. Um, this is the glossy Coral Coral. I think this is Coral Coral Magazine promo. I think so, yeah. Um, we have another Deoxys here, PCGP. I don't remember. I think it probably looks like a movie promo or something. We have a nice sparkle on that one. We have Regigigas DPP promo. This came like a... Same thing as that Dustmore. I can't remember. They actually came in a pack together, and then I believe there was a Pikachu in the pack together. I think that's how it worked. We have Chimchar Meiji promo. Uh, this is a chocolate one. Um, Registeel PCGP. Maybe a movie one. Kecleon. Uh, this is crazy. This is 001P. Like, this one gets, like, brushed over all the time. This is, like, the first P promo. Like, so basically, like, the first new back promo. So it's kind of wild. Um, but yeah, this was for the movie, I believe. Um, got the Ken Sugimori stock art. Got Wismer. Again, like I said, 7 Eleven. This is a non hollow version. Uh, another for Alligator Neo One Genesis. Uh, we got some BS here. We got Price's Lapras, Price's uh, Delibird. We have Unique Low, Oshawott. Pretty cool promo, one you don't see too, too often. We have the Quick Start gift set, the no rarity symbol version of the uh, Mewtwo, and then there's the glossy bending series. A couple more VS. We got Price's Pilos Wine, Lapras, um, another, you can see, you can't see it, but Delibird, and then Cloyster. And we got Venomoth from Jungle, Executor, um, hmm, sheesh. 
Southern Islands. Man, how can I forget that? Then we got Yanma uh, from Neo 2 Destiny. Nice. This one has a nice swirl on it. I don't know if the person caught that in the photos or not, because I don't usually just list that. But if they didn't, they're going to be in for a surprise when they get that. It looks really good, actually. It kind of like caught me off guard when I pulled it out. All right, let's jump into the graded stuff. We have... Hmm, let's see how I want to do this. Huh, I have to zoom out just slightly. Good enough. All right. We got Porygon Z Level X, PSA 8. Nice Orby on that one. We have Glaceon... PSA 10, gym promo. Is this SMP? Yeah, SMP. Then we have another Glaceon, Spiral Force Hollow from Black and White Era. Always really like that one. We have Crystal Towers Ente, PSA 9. Groudon EX, Coral Coral Comic Promo, PSA 9. Comics Mega Battle, uh, Crobat, Break. These are starting to grow on me a little bit, the breaks. Um, can't say that I love them, but I saw one the other day from a set. Uh, I think it was a Waba Fett, and, like, the hollow pattern was insane. Um, I'm sure, like, I'll grade one at some point that you see, but um, maybe these age well. Who knows? I mean, I know that's crazy to say, but, I mean, not seeing them for a while, and then you see them, and you're like, ah, like, this isn't too bad. And I like this one just because it has the, the Mega Battle stamp on it. Got PSA 10, Zapdos from Base Set. Always cool to see the uh, the old stuff like this in, in Gem and 10. Tough to grade anymore. We have Piplup, 11th movie, PSA 10. Nice swirl on that one, too. Ooh. I wasn't really a swirl person until I started doing videos and then, like, seeing everything up close. I'm like, oh, man, it's kind of cool. Um, we got Leafy on Dawn Dash, 9. Flygon, uh, this is the Freeze Bolt Cold Flare Booster Pack promo. PSA 10 from BWP. Another one I really like here, Farina's Flygon from the movie Commemoration VS Pack. Really nice artwork. By Nishida. We have Growlithe, and it's the base set artwork, but this is the Squirtle deck version. Um, I'm sure this is pretty low pop. Number one here out of the, out of the deck. Um, it's just the base set artwork, but it's cool that it has the stamp, and you know it's different than technically the, uh, the base set version. We have Poke Park Celebi, PSA 9. Also very, very nice artwork. Town of No Map, Umbreon, PSA 9. This is a non-hollow, which, you know, we usually do this. We'll take a take a little zoom in on the non-hollow. Man, look at that. That's crazy, right? It's so good. All right, we got Snorlax Level X from the Domino's Pizza campaign thing, um, PSA 9. Rowlet, Ultra Shiny GX 10. We have a good variety of stuff here today. Old, new, kind of everything. It's kind of cool. Uh, Greninja, Rage of the Broken Heavens 10. XYP. We have Salamence, V Jump Magazine promo 10. It's the same thing that that uh, bag on came from earlier. Crazy cracked ice hollow on that one. We have Natawake Hopip, PSA 6. Uh, always love this because of the Gengar there. Um, I don't know, this, this might be, like, I don't know. I really like the Mankey, too, so it's hard to say that this is my favorite when I like the Mankeys. I don't know. It's really hard. Like, they're they're just such good cards. Um, we have Koro Koro Pikachu, uh, the Flying Pikachu from XYP. This is the reprint, PSA 9. And the big hitter for this one, and again, this, is, this was a big chunk of the weekend sales, was the Umbreon from Split Earth 10. I just graded this. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably saw me post this, as well as the, the copy that I have in my collection. I was going to keep this one, because as you can see, this one has a swirl, but I just felt like it, you know, I've had that other Umbreon, it's a forcer, for so long at this point in my collection, that I just feel like it's betrayal to get rid of it. I mean, it's still a beautiful card, just doesn't have the swirl, and the hollow looks just as good, so... I don't know. I just uh, just felt like it would have been betrayal, and also that the the person who bought this they knew I had both, but they asked if they could have the one with the swirl. So, gotta please the customer sometimes. And you know, again, um, I didn't betray my original copy. So, yeah, beautiful card. We'll do a quick zoom in on this one. I think um, I have the video showing when when I was sending this into grading, and I was pretty excited. I do have another copy there, I believe, um, or somewhere. I think it's in. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But regardless, there's another copy of this somewhere to, to be sent in or is in grading right now. So hopefully get another 10 would be kind of cool. And yeah, but yeah, always awesome to grade stuff like this as well. Uh, but yeah, that about does it, guys. As always, like this was uh, 4800 and that does not deduct all the fees, 
shipping, et cetera, et cetera. Um, good weekend overall. If you bought anything from here, I appreciate you. Thank you. Um, it'll be out today yet, and you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully you enjoy it when you get it. As always, like, subscribe, comment down below, or don't. But either way, I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate you.